Jay Belvin, welcome to the Daily Social Distancing Show. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. The, the, this, the distance is okay. Yeah, I'll man. See you know, new... you, you, we got to keep that distance for now. For now. Soon it's going to be done. Everyone vaccinated. Hopefully no masks. Good times. I'm going to be back at one of your concerts. I, your concerts, man, it was like church. Everybody knew the words. Everybody was moving together. You came out with an energy that was insane. One of the best performances I've ever seen, like your props on stage. It's like you're going into another world. It's a psychedelic experience. The music is fantastic. I was a fan from that day, and I'm a fan till this day. What do you think it is about Jay Belvin that connects with so many millions of people around the globe? I don't consider myself a superstar, you know? I just, I just think that I'm a... I'm a dreamer, you know, like, I'm a real dude, man, you know, like, I got, I got good in the bats, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I have great days, I have bad days, you right. know, like, because sometimes people think that when you're an artist, you have this perfect life, and to me, that has changed, at least, what I want to do in this generation is like, yo, guys, listen, we are human beings just like you, yeah, I do music, I connect to people, yes, but, man, I want people, when I die, to remember me or remind me as a Jose, as a human being that was just making his dream come true. We feel that in the documentary that is out now on, on, uh, on Amazon Prime Video, you know, the boy from Medellin. When, when I grew up thinking of Medellin, all I knew was Pablo Escobar. Why was it so important for you to not just go, hey, this is J Balvin, let me show you the music, but no, let me show you the place that made me who I am? Basically, in the, in the 80s, you know, um, Medellin, Colombia used to be the most dangerous city on the planet. And we lost a lot of family. We lost a lot of friends, you know. Um, and, and it hurts me when I see, like, young kids, especially especially when I'm in the States, rocking, like, Pablo Escobar shirts. And I'm like, you, know, you don't know what this dude did, you know? He, he basically, he just made everything bad for us, you know? And that's why, like, now... I took it so personal, I was like, we have to show the positive side and show how great the people from my country is and that we're not into this world no more, you know? Like, I'm, I'm really close friend with Pablo Escobar's son and he told me something one day that I'm never gonna forget. It's like, my dad taught the world how not to do things right. Wow. You know? and, 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 and it's his dad and he's like, he just messed up the whole generation. You know, like, I, I want to show the world the new generation that we have, artists we have, as poor people, you know, that we have. Uh, a lot of great people from Colombia, you know, making the dream come true. You, you also show a side of yourself that many artists wouldn't show. I was, I was watching this and I was like, man, I didn't know and I never would have thought that Jay Belvin struggles with anxiety before going on stage. I would have never thought that you're having mild panic attacks when, when you're thinking about doing this. Why did you choose to share that with the people? And, and how have you coped with that as a human being? It's, it's like lottery, you know, like, just people that come with anxiety and it doesn't have that something trigger. Depression is not being sad. You know, depression, it's a chemical disbalance in your brain that is way more powerful than you. I, I never thought I was going to be medicated. I, thought, I used to be like going to the psychiatric just for crazy people. Hell no. You know, until it's been 10 years taking medication. You know, and I wasn't like, I haven't heard the first person that is looking to feel bad. You know, like, oh, mm. I, was, uh, hmm, I want to feel bad today. No. That's what I love about this whole story, man, is how, how intimate, you know, you... you you get about, about what's happening. I mean, even, even the story of what's happening in Colombia, like a lot of people are seeing it in the news now. You show the, 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 the conflict and you also show the conflict that you face because, I mean, you, you make the music you make. It's not political. You know, you, you, you have a good time, you inspire people, and yet you show the, 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 the difficulty in navigating this world as an artist. Yeah, like, it's, it's just sad, the fact that we shot this two years ago. You know, and now this situation is happening once again. Right. A little, a little bit stronger. You know, uh, and 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 I never signed a paper to be a politician. You know, like I I didn't know when when I wanted to be an artist. The last thing I was thinking was talk about politics. Right. You know, 
And it's still, it's still kind of hard for me to talk about it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a real guy, you know, still hard because no one is ever going to feel happy with what you say. Definitely. You know, we got the left and the right. So when I say whatever, the people from the left are going to hate me and the right are going to love me or vice versa. The, the streets made me. The hood made me. The crowd made me. The, you know, the, the people with, without the benefits of having money, you know, let's say in that way, support me since I started. Mm-hmm. And that's the people that are suffering the most. Once again, you know, we're going through the situation in Colombia, which is really sad. Anyway, I speak out, still get the love, still get the hate. But at least I'm saying it, you know, I call I, 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 I call the world, you know, I was like, listen, this is what's going on in Colombia, you know? And then, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's hard. It's hard to talk about politics, you know, when you sign, because you didn't sign for that, you know, you just want to make people happier and, and enjoy your music and go to your concerts. You know, but we're here, man. We're here. We're here. It makes part of life. Well, you know what, my friend? I think that's what people love about you, and that's what makes you such an amazing superstar is you connect us to you and to other people who love what you do. I appreciate you for joining me on the show. Congratulations on telling an amazing story. Peace, my dear. Be safe.